All right, welcome to OCVarsity.com. My name's Carlos Arias. I'm here with Steve Fryer, Mr. Friday Night. And uh, Steve, we got some uh, crazy stuff going on in the boys' basketball world. Yeah. How can modern day be number one? And they just lost to Orange Lutheran. Well, that's an interesting question. You know, there's five voters in the top ten poll, and three guys have been voting modern day number one, and two have been voting uh, Orange Lutheran number one. I'm one of the guys picking Modern Day still at number one because I think it's a body of work sort of thing. Modern Day has played really well, uh, beat some pretty good teams that City of Palms tournament, nationally ranked tournament in Florida. And also I think uh, when they uh, when they play again here uh, next week at uh, Modern Day on a Friday night on the 28th, um, I think Modern Day is going to beat them. And I think so you think there'll be some revenge on, on the minds of the Monarchs? Oh yeah, yeah. And also at home they'll get them and uh, I think you'll see them win and they may, you know, try and blow them out to really put the uh, exclamation point on it. But I think that modern day overall is a better team. Uh, yeah, Olu beat them. Great game. You know, fantastic. Congratulations to Olu. Nothing wrong with, <laughs> with that at all. It was a great game. And they had three guys play terrific. You know, Douglas and York and Banks and Barron and all those guys. They played tremendous. But uh, I think overall modern day is a better team. So that's why they're my pick. Okay. And so that game is going to be at Baby Staples Center, modern day high school. That's right, Baby um, Staples. The uh, the other thing that always uh, cracks me up is everybody thinks that you're the only guy voting on that poll, sure. and uh, they think when their paper's uh, not there in the morning, you somehow threw it on the roof or something. That's correct. But uh, no, it's a poll of five guys, and I only have one vote. Uh, it's it's much like uh, being at home. I've been married 28 years. I have one vote, and I usually get outvoted by other people. And so uh, that's the case uh, once in a while. Like the top, you know, 10 in football we had, you know. And uh, but basketball, there's three of us voting modern day number one, and I'm one of them. And I think we'll really see if I'm right or wrong on January 28th, Carlos. All right, let's get to Friday's action. What do we got coming up? There's got to be something good going on. Yeah, there's always something good going on, especially in that South Coast League. Uh, Capistrano Valley's at Tesoro when they met a couple of weeks ago. Capital Valley played a great game uh, overall. Uh, team effort, uh, great defense. Uh, the kid Tesoro, Dusty Baker, had a great game. Now they play a game at Tesoro on Friday night. And then a game that I'm very interested in going to uh, that I'm going to be covering. Hold on, Dusty That's Baker, I always ask, is he related to Dusty Baker? No, but he's related to Davis Baker, and here's what's sort of the subplot there. Sure. Davis Baker was an all-county basketball player at Capistrano, Va Capistrano Valley around five, four years ago. And now his little brother is playing at Tesoro. You know, because the schools, you know, in that uh, in that area now and all that, and so uh, uh, so uh, Davis Baker's brother is playing to you know Fort Tesoro against Davis's old alma mater. So that's kind of a fun little subplot there. But uh, getting back to what I was talking about before you interrupted me, Carlos, was uh, Val <laughs> Valencia Kennedy, and that's an interesting game. Valencia's a really good overall team. Omar Perez, a really good uh, player. Valencia's uh, undefeated in league so far. Very good league. The Empire League is in basketball. An upstart, a team that was totally off anybody's radar, is Kennedy. And they're knocking on the door. And Coach Jose Alvarez has got a good group over there, so I'm looking forward to seeing that game on Friday. I'm loving these newly configured leagues, the yeah. Empire and the Century, the South Coast, the Seaview, and mm -hmm. boys and girls are super competitive. Yeah, they are. You know what they did was they made these really good seven-team leagues and uh, in a play, couple of places like the Century, the Empire. And I really like what they did in that Coast View Conference where they merged all those uh, 10 South yeah. County schools together. And so you have different schools and different leagues, you know, per what the strength is. So, you know, the group that's uh, the five teams in the Seaview League and boys basketball would be different than the five teams in the Seaview League and girls water polo because you look at the strength and you try and match them up. So sometimes, you know, these leagues are a little top heavy. You have a pretty good fourth or fifth place team that may not go to the playoffs. So that's kind of the bad thing of it, but I kind of like it. It's, a, it's fun and I think it's a very creative way to uh, make your leagues. And no more whining from these guys because they're they're oh, all in they'll good. Still be whining, Carlos. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, hey, uh, thanks for checking in with OCVarsity.com, where we got you covered.